we're going to spend the entire lecture today implementing sets. Now they're built into Python and we're not even going to create an implementation that's the same as what Python does. We're going to create a bunch of different implementations that use the recursive data structures that we've invented last time in order to understand their orders of growth, efficiency issues, and just get some practice using those data types. Now, the way in which we implement sets here is a way in which sets are often represented in various programming languages. So I'm just not making this stuff up. These are useful data structures to know about and useful ways of thinking about sets. So let's think about what we need to implement. Here are the things we should be able to do with a set. Test whether some element is in the set. Return a set with all of the elements in either set1 or set2, but making sure that we don't have any repeats in the union. So the union of 134 and 235 would give us 12345. Intersection should return a set with any elements that are in both set1 and set2. So 134 and 235 have only in common the number 3. So down here is the set containing one element, the number 3. And a junction is a simpler operation. It takes a set and another value, and it returns a set with all of the elements in the original set, that would be 134 in this example, and also the value v, 2. Now if the value v is a repeat, then we're just going to get back the original set. We're going to do all of this never mutating the sets that are inputs to these different operations. So we're always going to create a new set, or in the case of membership testing, we'll just return true or false. 